Give me a check and I fuck it up. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yo, it's your boy. Trying to fight back with another reaction video. We are walking in the most dangerous hood in Philly. Tommy G. Tommy G back on the channel, bruh. I fought with the last video he did, bruh. Shit was fire. Shout out to Tommy G. Shout out to Texas. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Bro, I couldn't even think of the fucking job. Down below, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to the video. I don't want to talk too much. Let's get In it. these cold conditions, we must learn how to survive, thrive, Shout out succeed. Philly, Head to TommyGMcGee.com to purchase the future of winter fashion. So this needs to be going everywhere. Today's story takes That's place fine. in Philadelphia. We have some breaking news to get to out of Philadelphia, where police say at least nine people were shot outside of a bar, two of them in critical condition today. You may know Philly for Rocky, the Eagles, or cheesesteaks, but to the locals, this is a city with one of the fastest growing homicide rates in the country. So today, we're gonna walk one of the worst neighborhoods in Philly, walk the block with the neighborhood legend, Reek and Bull. Got me full of stress, got me smoking marijuana. Who's known in the streets, the music industry, and more. So come with us as we explore and hope shit doesn't pop off. All right, where are we right now? It's Butler Zoo. You ain't paid so, man. We on Butler Zoo. Uh, Percy and on Butler. That kid, on that chair. Yeah, we about to show y'all. This ain't, this baby Kenzo. This baby Kenzo. So as far as Philly goes, is this trenches? Five minutes ago. I ain't gonna lie, last week, nigga, I had a switch on the block. I know y'all heard of that. But look how we put this shit together, though, just on a quick little one and two. Oh, damn. These are, these are Gabanas, too, but they just the tag fell off, I think. Oh, you got that shit, too. Oh, you put that shit together. So what, what can you tell us about the politics of this area? What you mean, politics? Like, how, how do people move around here? Is it by ethnicity? Is it by, like, squad? Is it by street? Like, really? This shit just go by respect and all that. Locks. Really? It ain't no... No bullshit, just cause you older than a nigga and he younger than you, that shit don't go. This shit go by respect out here. You right. respect me, I respect you, and we right. gonna be great. They said watch the car? Oh shit. Alright, we just gotta check it. So what do the spider webs on your elbow signify? That's some shit I wanted as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a big Spider-Man fan or what that you thought would look cool when nigga, you were a kid? How old is you? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, fuck with Tommy, man. He just be asking questions, man. And he be being his soul. That shit funny, though. Yeah, Were you a big Spider-Man like, fan, or what? Did that you thought would look cool? Nigga, you how old is you? 28. <laughs> nigga, you my age. You think I ain't like Spider-Man? <laughs> <laughs> I like Spider-Man, Batman, all them niggas. If we outside, I'm gonna take y'all to a little church. Right now, y'all can't do a little early, but we ain't. So, hey, do people not fight anymore in the hood, Hell or what? no. Don't you feel like that would solve a lot of problems if people stop shooting and just use their hands? Yeah, I'm licensed to carry, so I got my motherfucker on me. I'm me licensed too. all the time. Nigga come through this motherfucker, what? How hard is it to get licensed to carry? It's easy. It's hard, you got felonies? Not yet. I beat my drone, so that's how I got my Yeah. yeah. Easy. Oh, ready for baby Kenzo oh, yeah, now? Wait, we're going to another version of Kensington? <laughs> baby Kenzo. Oh God, so it's Junkie Alley? So you just can't escape it. Look at my floor. Look at Shit, get this. This really. This shit treacherous. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. They go in there. They what? go in that what? You heard? That's the house. Manny, let them know. What's up? They go in there, right? Yes, the fuck. What did he say? This is my man block. No, this is my cousin. This is my folks. Let them know what's going on. What's up? Oh, Oscar, let them know what's going on. Right here, <laughs> you know everybody, huh? Let them know what's going on right here. This shit, this is how we carry, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know. That's what you said, No, no, but they 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 yeah, living like that though, right? It's never like that. So what do people do down there? You gotta go, you gotta, you gotta go and see, right? You gotta find out. No, so, don't go down there. I see you're you're properly strapped up. Does that make you feel a lot more comfortable? Oh, you're not. But what's so crazy? Don't let that go over your head. Big you got two drones on you. You can, you, 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 you can be right. strapped. You still get and, and still, you still get killed. Get <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? You still gonna get your taco. I'm gonna up. tell you the other day. I'm parked. Three bulls pulled behind me. Strapped, hopped out, boom. I'm, like, it would have been over for me, you know what I'm The other day I was making a, a stop in Milwaukee, guy with a ski mask runs up behind the car, and I was like, oh God, here we go. You don't have active beefs going on? Fuck no, that's why I'm walking like this. You see this, a lot of niggas can't really do this because they want to be 30 deep. Look, it's just me, him, and him. That guy looks like, you look like the businessman right there. 
He used to be like us, but he changed his life. I can't tell if you're a businessman or a teacher or a politician. Both. I used to be like both. I used to be like this. I just do it in a more crafty way. That's it. What kind of stuff are you up to? You look like a sophisticated man. Trained doctors on how to use electronic medical record system. Mark. Okay. Where are we right now? Ten in the park. We're on Franklin and Pike. So for everyone, I guess let's say there's ten guys. How many of them choose a path like you, and how many of them choose a path that aren't so, no, isn't so good? And what made you choose yeah. another path? Niggas who I was sitting around, they was millionaires. My celly was Bernie Madoff. Really? Tell, tell me your story. You, tell you, me. you had to sit in a cell with Bernie Madoff. How was that? I couldn't believe it. Did you learn a lot of information? I wouldn't be in this position where I'm at. I think that's, I think that's the power Damn. of the right mentor in your path can change your life. For those who don't know, Bernie Madoff, was, he pulled a, a Ponzi scheme where he defrauded, what, billions and billions of dollars? Billions of dollars. He yeah. was over at uh, Cumberland, but he died, God rest his soul, in 2018. But you literally talking about- How long up. did you live with him for? Eight months. What Just was the man time. like? Quiet, humble, and I say- Do people like him or respect him? Respect him ain't the word. They wanted that information, they wanted that knowledge, because they wanted to know- So he was treated well there? Very treated. He wasn't picked on, like, oh, you're a rich bastard, we're gonna beat the shit out of you? Nah. Once they feel like you one of them, behind the walls, if you do a white collar crime, they respect you. That's I true. went from being a CO at State, um, State Road, CSCF, Selling drugs out here, bringing drugs in the institution. And when I got locked up, I had dudes that used to be on my block carry me away because my uncle always told me, he said, never treat niggas a certain way. He said, have respect for them because at right, the end of the day, yeah. they don't stay locked up for long. So right. now when I'm in a position, I'm in the feds, I got somebody looking out for me. So you can always tell what type of man you're dealing with by his character. So now you talk about when I get behind that wall, I, my reality was either seeing people work, sell drugs. That's where I grew up at. Grew up down Hunting the Park. And you talk about being locked up with millionaires. I, the shit without that sounds like a gift in disguise, kind of. Yeah, that's crazy. At the same time. You seem like a guy that could run for crazy. mayor one day. What would you do in Philly if you were elected mayor? I wouldn't even run for mayor. I wouldn't. Because I already know the backlash of my past would still come up. So that's how they knock Fuck you off. Fuck that. Who cares, man? No, no you right. You, you served your time. You did your thing. That, that's how we really believe it. But one of the one of the best men I, I know in my life, it was a, a he did bank robbery. He was in for 10 years. The ultimate family man, good businessman, balling. I love that man. And so I feel like if you paid your time, you did it, whatever, come out and, and help that's change how, the world. What's pretty. your name one more time? Pre. Pre? Yeah. Pre for mayor, 2024. Oh. <laughs> Shout out Pre. Who's on your chest? Oh, this is my little brother that passed away. Oh. Not too long away. Yeah, they Sorry both, to hear that, man. Yeah, he got into a situation. That's his mom right there. He got into a situation with the cop that shot him. He shot a cop. So. Were there any marches for that? What? Or was it not hot like that no, at the time? No. He, I, I, I would say he probably was in the room in this. In this oh, okay. Yeah. He's all, he's all, all my youngest man. Big 38 shit. What's up, fellas? How you guys doing? Man. Good to meet you guys. I'm Tommy G. Good guys, man. You know, we don't want nothing but money. No problem. Nah, we just want your money, man. What's up, big dog? Yeah, Rock. Right. What's up? What y'all got going on? What y'all got going on? Man, we're just like checking that. out Philly. The city of brotherly love. What can you tell us about it? We can tell you that, man. <laughs> no love. He said, if you ain't make it past 16, then you ain't make it past 16. <laughs> so a lot of people die young here. It's like that. Hey, yeah. this dude didn't get a pass. Who's, whose block is he walking right now? Hey, buddy boy. What's up, big dog? You also got the spider web, too. Were you a Spider-Man fan growing up? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so I hear we got a verse coming up. Bro, he, oh, he's being himself, bro. He's not, bro, I fuck with Tommy, bro. He's not trying to act hard, bro. Ask some questions, bro. Just show him up. I fuck with him for that. You just gotta be yourself. And that's, this is the true definition of just being yourself, bro. No shit. No, he not gonna bitch up. He's Give funny me as hell. Right now, Skipper. Skipper. I say niggas know how I handle business, how I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Goonies in the building, my niggas, we making moves. Okay. Cash on demand, my niggas, we break the rules all day long. Stay long. These bitches wanna stay long when the money stay upper. Four fifth fully equipped, I straight bust ya. Niggas mind the diner, my niggas, we straight suffer. Motherfuckers wanna cross the gun line, but we gonna make your whole team suffer. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was on the top. I was on the top, no straight bullshit. like that. Hey, Gino, my man different. Hey, you ain't never meet a nigga this hot for this long. I'm back. You get popped for making a diss song. I'm cracked. I just need another part to whip off. Fuck, nigga, get knocked out with this song. Nobody true as me. You ain't never find a nigga true as me. Ain't a nigga around me really influence me. We got some. This is what Meek was out there doing. Come on, man.
push me. You would never find the nigga true as me. Uh-huh. And the nigga around me really influenced me. We got some rappers on this block, hey, that's for sure. Go. So how is how is Philly change over time? Do you feel it getting better or do you feel it getting worse? It's getting worse, man. Are you are you concerned for the future of kids growing up here? For sure, this shit getting bad, man. Like, I, I, Can't worry. It, it wasn't like that. At least 10 murders every day, man. So you feel like the cycle just continues and continues and it's just going to keep getting worse. Where do things start to change, do you feel like? Where do things start to change? Because there's clearly talent, there's potential, there's energy. For sure. Believe it or not, religion, man. A lot of people is Muslim in this city, man. We come together like like through, through religion, but we need Isn't something this more than that, man. one of the original places that Malcolm X started a temple? Yes, he did. It was uh, called Mecca. They ch- that's when he was with the uh, Nation of Islam. With Elijah that was, Muhammad. Yeah, that was, that was a Sunni Muslim. So guys, I think it's always important to learn about history. And if there's two Philadelphia people, I, w- I read their biographies multiple times. I would read Benjamin Franklin and Malcolm X. Malcolm X isn't from Philly, but one of the, the first temples he made was in Philly. What's the best thing about being a father to you? Um, saving my life. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? Calm me down. Give me a reason to live. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because before that, I feel like I ain't have a reason to live. You know what I mean? Had that I shot, it was like, fuck, excuse my language, F life. Yeah. You know I mean? But that gave you meaning and purpose and... Yeah, mm-hmm. had to. Do you feel like, is this a city that has good relationship with police or is it fuck the police? Or does it depend on the cop? Are they notoriously corrupt here or are they good guys here? Do man, they do... It's, it's, it's half and yeah. half, man. You have respect, they give you respect. But some of these niggas, they don't care. Like, they gonna treat you how they treat you. Hey, but that's everywhere too I mean, at the same time, you know. I think we need more money in uh, police training. Yeah. What's up, baby? Look. Definitely. This is my artist right here. Oh, What's up, big dog? How you doing, man? Same shit, same yeah, shit. What's up? Best artist in the city right now. What? Yeah, I mean. Is there anywhere we could get a sneak peek of your style? Uh, yeah, we can slide around the corner real quick. Yeah, we about to pull over right here. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. So, one thing I noticed. There's a lot of trash everywhere. Terrible. What do you think it would take to make littering not cool? If someone litters, we're like, people are like, fuck you, we don't want that. Uh, the community, man, because the community got to care first, huh? You know what I mean? If the community don't care, then how we going, you know what I mean? How are you going to care? Gonna together. Right. They're going to throw trash on the floor, don't care. But there's some people that are thinking like that, like, yo, pick that up. So where are we going next, man? We're going back to the trenches. Like, I, mean, I just had to walk y'all through do uh, you know, Pike right now. Yo, let me tell you this though. What we doing right now? Corners, niggas, niggas can't. Niggas can't walk their neighborhood. We dead. What about honkies? Anybody. I'm gonna keep it. Anybody. I ain't just saying that. Niggas got walking around with masks. Yeah. Masks and fucking. Thanks. What's up, really, Matt? Where do you think is more scary, this or Kensington? The. No bullshit, they're everywhere. Like, Kensington everywhere. might be crazy reason why, because it's just the, the, the drug, but it ain't about the violence, it's about the junk. A nigga yeah. might try to just get over you just to get high. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about, you, yeah, you yeah. feel me? Now I'm down north, a nigga trying to smoke you because you look crazy. So over, <laughs> so people will kill you for petty shit here. They gonna kill you because you look at, they looking no, at you wrong, no bro. Funny shit. It could be, it could be, yo, who no, you looking at? Who you looking at? Oh, I'm gonna ask like, my like man that, that just walked north. That that quick. Bro, look, a nigga just got killed like, two weeks ago over ten dollars. Over ten dollars? Hey yo, hey, hey, get a goddamn GoFundMe and give this guy ten bucks then. Hmm. What do you think it would take for people to love each other enough not to kill them over she ten bucks? Get money to everybody. It ain't even about money. Yo, when you everybody spread had, the wealth, spread the motherfucking everybody wealth. Everybody had PPP. <laughs> no, I won't even say that because everybody had PPP at employment. It still was murders. It's hey, I, so I hear this theory a lot when I walk into neighborhoods is that people believe that the government dropped off crates of guns in the neighborhoods. Do you guys they believe that? that? They used to. They, yeah, used to. Sure. they probably do still. They probably just don't do it as much. They be doing that shit. Nah, <laughs> I ain't never heard no shit like that. They be doing that? Niggas, they be dropping airdrops and shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Theory a lot when I walk in the neighborhoods is that people believe that the government dropped off crates of guns in the neighborhoods. Do you guys believe that? They used to. They yeah, used to. Sure. They probably do still. They probably just don't do it as much because, you know, how, there's more eyes and shit on them. But How easy is it to buy a gun here? You could, it goes guns. This shit is sweet. Like, how much do I need to buy a gun? $300. <laughs> and how quick can we make Not that we would, but how quick can we make it happen? Shit, no. five minutes. <laughs> yeah. It would be that quick to get a gun. Yes. You can get, you can get. But you need one? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to call this video Walking the Block in Philly. <laughs> Yo, because people can't do this, I'm telling you. So, hmm, what what about your reputation allows you to do that? Like, how have you been able to build that up? 
Man, you never build bridges. And don't burn them. You see what I'm saying? I always show love. I'm not from here, but guess what? I show love to everybody. Love there, right? yeah. I put niggas in position for nothing. You see what I'm saying? Shug, I, the guy we just pulled up on him, I went and took him to a record label. You see what I'm saying? So because you have goodwill towards people and you help people without anything and asking that's return, helps you be, that's been right. giving yeah. your, your reputation is good around here. Yeah. Some people take advantage of that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on though. CF in the label, man, yeah. we coming hard. Hey, gang, man. Let me throw something off y'all real quick though. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Hey, let's go, big Tell dog. Tell T.Y. in the city, man. You already know. I'm going all in. I said, yeah, yeah. Yeah, stacking the flip and I'm making it happen. I stay lacing the latest in fashion. Popping shit, but I don't do the bragging. And the fill with the players like man. Well, I know it's about the Philly style. It's a very bar for bar type of style. Yeah. It's like these, you guys get down, you guys have good rhyme schemes. You talk about complex shit and you get to the point. Like it's, I like, that's a style of rap that I actually grew up on. It was like the underground almost where it's just like the hammer versus. Yeah. I like that, man. I, I like, like that a lot. I like certified Trevor, too, man. Yeah. You put me on. Another guy. No, that, that, that ain't anything yet. That shit ain't no issue. What's his name? Uh, Super, Super, Super Dave or something? Yeah, Girl? Super Throw Dave. I fuck with him. That Wop Wop song. Yeah, Wop shit crazy. Shout out Super Throw Dave, yeah, a certified trapper up. from Philly to Milwaukee, baby. Yeah, get yeah, with me, man. Milwaukee. I mean, we might make some moves. I fuck with folks. But yeah, man, like like I said, little Shug, man, I didn't just got talent, man. I didn't took him down labels and everything. How'd you, you find them? I found him because of my man. You know what I'm saying? My man Shout out to my man, Iwe Peso. You know what I mean? And, 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 and listen, let me tell you, he don't even got the craziest file on it and he label offers. You know what I'm saying? So that's pure talent. You got a path, man. Keep on chasing that. Good things will come, man. Appreciate it. Hey, appreciate you. What's your Instagram, what's your Instagram, Shug? Uh, go follow me on the gram at Lil Shug 2X. That's L-I-L-S-U-G 2X. Describe, describe Philly in three words. Philly. Yeah, bad. Yeah. We, we like girls bad. and we get money. And what do you go by? That was three. Go that was three sentences. That was three sentences, gang. That was not three words. That first sentence was three. We gonna let you slide. What, you what's your name? Twan. What they call you on the block? Shout out Twan, man. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, that's right. Yes, sir. I hear you, man. I loud and clear. Everyone has a choice. You get to choose. I hope you pave a path that's not just good for you, but your family and your community. We love you guys. Philadelphia, thank you for having us. Hey, appreciate the brotherhood, man. Yeah, we'll know. see you guys next week. Shout out Tommy D. Shout out Philly, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you're new, man. If you're fucked with the video. Comment down below what y'all think. Shout out y'all, man. And I'm going to catch y'all on this one, bro. I give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah.